Hello everybody, this is Mr. Tegan and I'm here with a guide slash review of the Outriders demo. Outriders is very PvE oriented, it has no PvP and it seems like they have no further plans bringing in PvP. Therefore there will be no changes of the weapon power or balancing in general that will affect the rest of the game's PvE. This is, or it was, a problem in Destiny. There are four different classes, Devastator, Pyromancer, Technomancer and Trickster. All of the different classes have different skills that makes them viable in different situations. Let's just go through the roles and skills. Devastator. This is a tank class and is meant for close combat and it has abilities to shield itself and deal a decent amount of damage, staggering enemies cl in close range and every close range kill heals you 24% of your max health. Next is Pyromancer. This is a conjurer meant for medium range and I personally found this class to be the hardest to play. You have abilities that can inflict burn and knock back on enemies and I do see some potential with this class but I do recommend trying one of the other classes if you plan on playing solo. To get healed you need to mark the enemies before killing them. Trickster. This is an assassin meant for close range. This is the class that I liked the best. I also found this the easiest to use as it has very good synergy between the different abilities. You do a lot of damage and you also are able to heal yourself by getting kills. 20% of your max health for every close range kill. Last but not least is the Technomancer. Support and it's meant for long range. This is a very fun class to play, but it is hard in some of the encounters where the enemies are running towards you. As opposed to the other classes, you get skill leech and weapon leech instead of kill leech. This works well against bosses and synergizes extremely well with the possibility of freezing the enemy. Freeze them and damage them until your health is back. These traits and class abilities makes it very easy to play solo. In short, if you are only going to play one class I recommend Trickster or Technomancer depending on if you like close combat or distance. Trickster is the easiest to play through this demo, as the levels are a bit closed off and leads to much forced close combat. I have no idea how much of this will be true in the full game, but at least this is how it stands in the beta, where the limited max level is level 7. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!